Hey guys, what's up? This is Thomas Gold and welcome back to my studio here in Berlin. And today I'm gonna talk about my new track, Take Me Home, which I did together with Hio and Harrison. And I think I'm gonna walk you through some of the um, stuff I did to the vocal, how I processed it and how um, I actually made it sit in the mix and sound very nice. Let's do this. So first um, I loaded up the original vocal stem I got from Harrison and um, the story about the thing is that in the beginning we had this vocal and Harrison recorded it a while ago and we tried to recreate the vocal uh, but it turned out that the original version he did was actually the best one and the vibe was really nice and everybody loved it and um, we decided to go with this one. The only point was that there was a little bit of processing on it already and you can hear it here. The frozen thoughts for your lungs with cold Everything that you can see me, please believe me when I say So there's a little bit of um, haul and reverb and delay on it and um, I wanted actually to get rid of some of it to be more flexible with my own mixing. So what I did first was um, use um, an EQ, I cut out um, the low end a little bit. Uh, hold on, I don't use this one. And um, then I pre-compressed the vocal a little bit, just a little bit, and you can hear it here. The frozen thoughts for your lungs with cold. To prepare it for further processing, what I did then was um, removing um, the room information on the vocal. So I took this little plug in here, and you can hear it. Your lungs with cold. If I turn it up. Everything I your lungs with cold. Everything I It's very dry now, so it loses a lot of the, the reverb information and the delay. And I just used half of it. Your lungs with cold. Everything I your lungs with cold. Every so it already gets better now. And actually, I just did in the first step, I did some DSing as well. I know that you can see, you can see me, please here. believe me when I say. Because um, the recording was quite harsh, and I wanted to get rid of um, all these like s and ks and um, to make it sound a little bit smoother. But I'm gonna get back to this um, at a later stage. Yeah, that was actually the first stage of the vocal processing, and I bounced in all these plugins, and then um, I'm gonna show you in another project what I did uh, next. So this is uh, stage two of the vocal processing. I have the vocal with all the plugs I, I showed you before. And now I added a lot of other stuff. You can see it here and I'm gonna walk you through that. But first of all, let's listen how it sounds now. Goes down and you're all alone. The frozen thoughts for your lungs with sounds really warm and, and big and nice. And that's actually um, the goal of the vocal processing, you know, to, to make the vocal um, sit in the mix and to make it sound smooth and, and, and level out all the, the peaks and the, the wrong frequencies. And um, yeah, what I did was this, hold on, I'll solo this. Goes down and First of all, a little bit of de-essing, not too much, but um, it still needed um, this. And you're all alone, the frozen thoughts for your lungs with cold, everything in your all. It's not doing a lot, but it's um, removing some of the harsh frequencies then. Um, another compressor stage, um, analog warmth with this one. Um, it's a very subtle compression. You can't actually hear it too much, but it, it makes the whole vocal more like dense and, and sound like one. Now this is maybe interesting. Um, I took out a lot of the, the muddiness here around 300 Hertz, between 100 and 500. This is like a very um, critical area and Often you have problems with um, other instruments in the mix when you mix everything together, like the bass sounds or a low organ or string or piano. And um, you don't want to have a, a frequency buildup, and at, especially at that stage, because it, in a club, the track might sound a very like money and, 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 and you need to open it up here. And you can do that with the vocal. It doesn't actually need those, those frequen frequencies. <laughs> And you can hear it. When the sun goes down without. and you're all alone, the frozen thoughts for your lungs with cold. So you can really hear it, uh, it, it loses a lot of its muddiness and it opens up the vocal a little bit. 
Here I took out um, one of the resonance frequencies, which were like um, not really nice, and I boosted a little bit here. Okay, um, then what else did I do? Yes, uh, I added um, the Paltec EQ without doing anything. It just adds a little bit of warmth to the track and adds a little bit of um, nice sound to it. So I just dialed that in. It's actually doing nothing, just making the sound nicer, yeah. Then I have another compressor here, um, the 1176, which um, is not doing a lot. The same here. The memories taken away. I know that you can see me, please believe me when... You see um, the needle is not moving a lot, but I'd rather um, stack a lot of compressors uh, um, with subtle settings and instead of like having one compressor and, and, and compress the shit out of everything, because this often sounds very, or you can hear it, but um, if you like use a lot of compressors or limiters in a row, you can um, really um, get a result which is not at, as obvious, you know? And that's what I did. Um, I used the Fetzo to add some warmth to the track and also a little bit of reverb. Don't let it get me, no, I see the light It's coming to take me, so save me tonight Don't let it So you can hear it really adds a little bit of um, a room and, and warmth again and um, the vocal gets less harsh with the fat so Next step was um, two delays oh. And don't let it get me, no, I see the light It's coming to take me, so save me tonight so Again, it's, uh, it adds a lot of like stereo information, makes the, the vocal brighter and, 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 and uh, broader and wider, <laughs> broader and wider. Uh, Again, a little bit of EQing, this is a very surgical EQ here uh, with all the resonance frequencies, I took them out and just to clean up the vocal and make it ready for the mix don't let it get me, no, I see the light It's coming to take And don't let it get me. It's losing volume, but um, it also um, gets a little bit cleaner and um, I found that it was easier to mix with the rest of the stuff. And finally, I put up a little bit of a limiter just to tame the very high peaks of the vocal and another final um, EQ just uh, to um, cut, off, uh, cut out um, some of the frequencies here. And at the end, it sounds like that. Let me just play it all together. So you can hear it's a lot of a difference already. And um, yeah, that was my second stage of the processing. And what I did now, I bounced again in all the stuff. And we're moving on to, uh, to project number three, where I'm going to show you the final stage of the vocal. So this is uh, stage number three of the project where you can see the track is already done. It's actually the final stage of the whole um, production. And the vocal here is kind of final and it sounds like this now. When the sun goes down and you're all alone The frozen falls for your lungs with cold What I did now um, is I added this little nice plug in and um, what it does is um, it adds a little bit of saturation and distortion but in a very um, nice and beautiful way and you can blend it with the original sound here and um, I think that Harrison's vocal um, is kind of has a rocky like flavor and I wanted to, um, to, to work on that a little bit to make it um, stand out but not too obviously so I mixed in a little bit of this um, plug-in and I automated the whole thing the mix level here you can see it the verses are kind of mellow and then for the bridge it, it uh, moves up a little bit and goes up to like a, a higher value here and, and, and for the chorus section It's a very subtle difference, but you can hear it and it makes the whole vocal sit in the mix nicely. It um, makes the whole sound like, it fills out the room a little bit more. And I, I really like that, that thing. 
And um, yeah, finally, I did some EQing. I took off the high end and the low end again because it was actually not needed for the mix. Yeah, that was pretty much it. And that was the final um, stage of the vocal processing. And that was how I did the whole thing. <laughs> So that was it and that was the vocal processing on Take Me Home. I hope you guys could use some of the ideas and see you very soon. And totally